Uh, Alright guys, shut up, listen up. Get the fuck off my berm! <laughs> <laughs> if I could yell, I would. Uh, stop! Alright guys, uh, Dottie, you just want to run through, uh, like, uh, rid and basic contact drill. Alright, um, cool. Let's go through RID first. No, um, that's the first thing most that people will come across. What does RID stand for? Someone tell me. Range, indication, distance. Well done, that man. So, basically, we use no. RID as a target indicator Direction. to determine He's wrong. where... He's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm drunk. Alright. Range, <laughs> indication, <laughs> description. Alright. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you use this, too, um, bro. why is range used before, um, the indication? Because close to shoot is more important. Yeah, your section is going to want to know if something's 10 meters or 100 meters, rather than it's, whether it's to his left or it's to the right. So, you give off the range, um, straight away. So, so take an indication me. for, say, behind you there's a bush in the field. You'd call out, uh, approximately, you'd just say 150 meters, alright? Doesn't have to be spot on, just has to give people a rough, um, idea where the target is. Next is indication, which is the direction of the target. We primarily use um, axis, left, right, half left, half right. Um, the reason why we don't use, you know, 270 degrees or fucking 118 degrees is that takes time for people to stop, take out the compass and line it up. Um, just give a general direction of where it is, um, given the team's axis of advance. The only exemption to this is when you hold up in a harbour, and that's when you can use 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 or 4, because your section leader should be designating those arcs. Um, last is description. That's the description of the target and what he's next to, alright? So, all together, if I was targeting that uh, bush out in the field, is um, target 150 metres axis, single bush out in the open. Next to the short grass. Yeah, if you really want to be a pain, say it's short grass, but remember, it's um, quick and simple. So, if I can grab... I'm going to grab someone. Who can I grab? Marty, up front. Alright, I want everyone to turn around. Marty's going to give you a target indication using RID, and you're all going to try and guess where it is. Now, if you see it, call seen. If you can't see it, call not seen. Uh, 200 meters, half left, house. On. 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 Yeah. Oh, so, we can't even follow basic instructions, god damn it. <laughs> I think Wolf got it. Who said scene? No, I said scene. Axel, I said Axel. Scene. Ten points for Axel. You get another card, mate. Uh, what's something we can say? Just say that building is... Actually, um... Uh, can anyone see the watchtower just slight left of that building? Scene. 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 Alright, so what we can also do, if the target's moving away and he's repositioned there and no one can see that item, uh, we can use the radial method on top of RID. So it'd give you range indication and description of the building, and then you'd follow it by 9 o'clock, 20 metres, uh, single watchtower. Are you roughing the range, or did you use the yardage? No, nah, rough the range. You know, like I said, the idea of the um, target indications is it has to be quick and simple. You don't want to sit there having some sort of complex method. Like, if you turn around and you can say, you know, 207.5 meters, 118 degrees, um, you know, beige-looking man in multicam standing in the middle of the field, congratulations. But one that takes too long, two people are just going to sit there trying to process all that information. So, just give it to them simple, as in, you know, 50 meters access, single enemy moving left to right. That's all you need to give them. All right. Still talking. Yeah, shut up. Melly, yeah. jump up. Give another one. <laughs> oh, 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 I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was a fucking wing 50 time. meters right. APC. Seen. Don't see. Same. Which one? Yeah, not seen. <laughs> Shit. We'll handle that it's in several. a second, don't worry about that. Sorry, it's been... That comes later. <laughs> it was a trick question! Alright. So that's a, that's a quick cover of the <laughs> range indication description. Very easy to explain. Um, very difficult for some people to actually execute. It kind of changes every single time someone calls a new one. So just keep the um, format in mind whenever you call it out. and. Try and think of it before you say it. 
Um, some people always sit there and go, uh, um, 50 metres, half, no, uh, quarter left, <laughs> um, sitting, Look no, the moving stars, left. The stars. By the stars. Yeah, under the sun now. Shoot it, shoot it. <laughs> um, did you explain the difference between a fucking contact and a target? No, I'm still going through it. Alright, cool. Alright, and so now just some key principles about that, guys. Um, when you're calling it, don't say contact. We will go over contact in a minute um, with the basic drills. Um, but contact essentially means you are receiving effective fire. Um, we reserve that for the fact that, you know, a round can pass through a section. That doesn't mean you're in contact. It could be a stray. Contact means you've hit contact, react immediately. So generally, if that word's ever called out, the whole section should start opening up. Um, use things like target or unknown individual, unknown item, object, things like that. Just simple keywords, but avoid contact. Um, and use all that also in the uh, description of the target. So, you know, friendly, enemy, unknown. Now, keeping that in mind, we're going to go on to basic drills. Now, your basic drills has seven main principles. That is um, shoot, first of all. Call contact, go to ground, move to cover, observe, aim, fire. Um, with those things, obviously, shoot first, ask questions later. If it's engaging you, don't just stop, call contact and give a target indication. Return fire to gain the um, you know, weight of fire against the enemy. Call contact in case anyone's asleep or if you believe that target needs extra fire. Um, and then go to ground, obviously make your um, section a small size. Alright, um, why do we, why should we all go to ground? Why shouldn't we just stop and all engage straight away? Small target. Yep, what else? Hard to be seen, I suppose. Thank you for Yep, you. um, <laughs> avoid bullets is a key one. So, go, make yourself a small target <laughs> and avoid incoming rounds. So, so we don't try and catch them and send them back? <laughs> Alright, also by going to ground it means you can also conceal yourself and move. If an enemy receives fire from a direction and suddenly there's no targets, you know, to be seen to engage back at, he's going to have no idea where that round's come from. Now, um, following that is when you move to cover. Um, that can be covered later under patrolling about um, looking for cover. But move to cover, observe, and what do you think you'd do during the observation phase? I'll read. Oh, yeah. 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 They're lagging for you. Right, you know, observe, <laughs> alright? Observe where the enemy is and call rid. And remember that everyone should be repeating the target indication if you can see it. Um, because passive in information is vital. Sometimes your radios aren't always going to work. People aren't really going to be listening to you on your radio. So if they hear everyone calling out a target indication or a contact, then it'll switch them on a lot quicker. Alright, and then obviously aim and fire. Now, why do we aim before we fire? Because so we're, we're not AAF, good. Good. Alright, so remember to observe and fire first. Um, in armor, the suppression system only works if the rounds go towards the target. Um, it's not like other games such as PR Red Orchestra where the rounds can land near or go overhead. The rounds must be directed towards the target to make any effect against the AI. So keeping that in mind, we'll just do a quick exercise of a basic drill. So if we all just go into a blob formation and walk this way. I'll allow you on this berm this once. <laughs> so <laughs> what's gonna happen? I'm gonna call contact Whee! left, contact right, or contact front. I want you no, all to use the basic the drills to react to that, okay? Oof. So if I call contact Oof. front, remember to shoot, call contact, go to ground, and move to cover, start observing, aim and fire, alright? So, move. Oh, sorry. Harry, go fill in on the spot in this section. In this Advance! Place. I can't. I have the team in you. Contact front. Contact front. Target. Target not 50 meters front. Target 50 meters front. Alright, good, we got two fire teams in cover, we've got three in residence still. Three individuals. Yeah. <laughs> Mag. 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 
so good. One thing we can keep in mind as well, um, after the shooting, it doesn't have to be absolute suppression. As long as someone's engaging, that's all we need, right? Um, what we'll do is we escalate our fire to what you guys are conducting in is called rapid fire. That's about three rounds a second. Um, one still, sorry, yeah, two to three rounds a second. Uh, reserve that for when you actually conduct your contact drills. During the basic drill, just keep it at a standard rate of fire, which is about one round every three seconds or something. Sustain fire! Yeah, sustain fire is where you just like rip. Um, rapid fire is two rounds every three seconds. Um, standard fire is about one round every three seconds. We can go over that in um, after training if we've got more time. We'll do some um, fire indication. All right, we'll do it one more time. Just make sure you all got it. Advance forward. Contact right. Contact right. Contact right. Contact right. Contact right. Sorry, stay the fuck away from those things. Right side. Ah, uh, Alright, right, there you go, much better. So, when you're moving along, keep in mind that look for enemy, look for cover, and look for your friendlies, alright? Make sure everyone's still with you or information. Check for cover, because when you do have a contact, you then know exactly where you can move to. And obviously check for enemies so that you don't get seen first. Alright, let's move back to the berm, and I'll quickly go over um, fire direction indications. Um, so when directing fire, this is mainly for team leaders or um, section leaders with machine guns. Um, team leaders or section leaders, you can use RID to your advantage when you try and direct the machine gun. So you can call your range indication description and then your rate of fire, which is, you know, um, 100 meters access um, by the lone pole, rapid fire machine gun. What that'll do is that'll let the machine gun know that he's conduct rapid fire on a specific target. You can also call for teams at a time, so gun team, rough team, assault team. Rosie, you're up. Is he playing with vehicles? Rosie, stop playing with vehicles. Um, pleasing swordsman. Pleasing swordsman. Fuck, he's trying to touch my vehicles. Alright, uh, where, where are we at? You're up. Rain, um... <laughs> <laughs> fire orders, range no. indications, and basic drills are done. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll move on to bounding. Alright, uh, first off, anyone got any questions on what was just covered? Uh, what are you different? Shut up! <laughs> I wanna get nice. the fuck over here! <laughs> no, sorry, any questions? Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> what are your rates of fire and the names? Basically, uh, yeah, standard rate of fire. Alright, yeah, so, right, so your standard rate of fire, which is when you generally engage a target, is about one round every three seconds. Um, rapid fire is two to three rounds every three seconds, and sustained fire is about two rounds a second. So, to give you an idea, you got your standard rate of fire is something, you know, very slow. You don't really give a fuck, you're just keeping the enemy's head down, making sure they're aware you're still there. Rapid fire is a bit quicker, you're just popping off two rounds every now and then. You can do two, wait a little bit, and then just keep firing like that. That's rapid fire. Now, keep in mind this will be an entire fire team or section engaging. And then sustain fire essentially, pretty much just popping off a lot of rounds. Um, why don't we use this when we Where hit did contact? Run out of ammo. Set M013, gonna be awful. Pretty much. You'll find that, you know, being, um, firing very small amounts of rounds may feel tedious, but you'll find out in the end that you'll save a lot more rounds using the exact same effect full auto would. Um, reserve full auto for close combat. When you think about it, when you have 30 odd guys all shooting that, that's a lot of rounds going down range. To give you an idea, everyone turn around and we'll go through those types of fire, just so you get an idea about your, um, about Not... firepower. That was gonna... Worst gonna ever. Hey, I did this shit. <laughs> did everyone right, so... Around? Section 50, oh, sorry, uh, 50 meters axis, lone bush, section fire. Remember, keep it standard rate of fire, so one round every three seconds for a machine gun, it's that one burst every four seconds. 
So I'll go over the machine guns as well. Machine guns about a uh, burst every four seconds, rapid fire, a burst every two or three seconds, sustained fire, just um, letting as much rounds off without overheating your barrel. Ooh. Alright, 50 meters axis uh, in the field, single bush section, rapid fire. Five. Section 50 meters axis, lone bush in the field, section uh, sustained. Five. It's beautiful. So you can see that's a lot of fucking rounds that are going down range at the enemy there, no matter what the fire rate. I thought that bush was on fire for a second. a <laughs> minute. <laughs> No. Uh, suggest everyone start packing their mags. That's a special <laughs> round. You don't just find like many rounds that goes down range. All right, shut up, listen up. All right, we'll move on to bounding now. Oh wait, anyone else got any other questions regarding that? <laughs> mags. Pack the no. mags, people. I only have stupid questions. Yeah, shut up. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, moving on to section bounding. Uh, can anyone tell me why we do section bounding? Uh, maintain. So you don't all get mowed down by one machine gun. All Target. correct, excellent. Uh, <laughs> Freshly <laughs> sorted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now it's uh, so we can get to we'll get closer and uh, eliminate the target without threatening our lives for extended periods of time. Pretty much, we want to keep the enemy's head down while advancing up closer to it because the closer we are, the more effectively we can kill the thing. Usually, sometimes. So, um, pretty much the idea is here, we have, in your section, you have two teams, two fire teams, you have your gun team, which is your heavy team, usually with a 240 or 7.62 type machine gun, and UGLs and that sort of shit, then you have your uh, rifle team or assault team, uh, this is usually with a 5.56 machine gun, um, light rifles and that sort of thing. When it comes to bounding, generally, it depends on the, heavily on the landscape, but generally you'll have your guns on the high ground. Um, the reason for this is you want your heavy gun on the higher ground so it can shoot down onto enemy targets and there's less chance of being shot down onto from other enemy targets. And fled fire, yes, there you go. Alright, uh, so yes, depending on terrain, you'll have your guns on the right, however, if it's flat terrain like this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll probably do it more to where the next enemy threat is supposed to come from, yada yada, but we won't touch on that right now. Uh, one big thing with bounding, so here we've got two lanes of cover, let's just say that's, I don't know, trees or whatever, we'll have a fire team on each. Now when we're bounding, one team, usually the gun team, will hold first, and will put a sustained uh, amount of fire down on the truck, which is the target location, suppressing enemy enemy that might be there trying to kill us. While gun team is suppressing, assault will push up to the next uh, bit of cover, usually it's no further than 20 meters or usually it's about three seconds, three to four seconds of running. Now the reason why it's three seconds is because, well, in real life anyway, it takes approximately three seconds for the enemy to be able to get a sight picture on you and pull the trigger. So you don't want to be running longer than that because you just make yourself a massive fucking target. With armor, it's a little less important, but still we adhere to it mainly because we don't want to be standing up in the open for extended periods of time anyway when we're coming under sustained fire. So, once Assault reaches their next location, they will go to firm, they will start engaging, the, uh, suppressing the position, then gun will pick up and move. Big thing here, guns will not pass Assault. They will always stay in line with Assault, they will not go past them. Reason of this is they don't want to get too close to the enemy, essentially. They want Assault to always be leading away with that, and guns can't have too much time off their, on their feet and not suppressing. So you always pretty much want your, pretty much with all of this, you always want one foot on the ground at all times, otherwise well, you're going to fall over. You always need your A team on the ground suppressing that target, keeping the enemy's head down so your other team can push up and close with the enemy and kill them. Any questions of that before we uh, go ahead and try it out? I've uh, got a question. Um, yep. When you're set, who calls it out? I guess it'd have to be over the radio. Would that be the fire team leader? Or the section leader? Um, 
personally, personally I prefer if no one calls set. Uh, usually you can tell, you know, when the fire rate picks up that the other team has indeed got to the location and started firing. Right. Also, the the fire team should be keeping an eye. You know, it's it's three meters or four meters to your left or right, so you should be able to fucking tell. Uh, right. So I'd rather less chatter over the radio comms and more just picking up on it straight away. But if you need to call it, if there's too much shit going on, then it's the fire team leader that will call set, and the other team will push on. But try to do it without calling anything. Just keep an eye on the other team. Once you see them stop and once you hear them start firing, then you got to tell you guys to pick up and move. All right. And guys, with this with this field, we have a nice little cover every 20 meters, 10, 20 meters or so. Out in the field, you probably won't have that. Uh, if you have cover within, say, 15, 20 meters, move to that and take cover there. If not, you go three seconds running and then you drop on your knees or on your guts, uh, depending on the terrain. And that way, you just have to shoot from your guts since there is no available cover. Uh, all good. Also, with this, um, since we have a two-man command team, we're going to get them running behind the assault. So guns will be on the right, assault on the left. Assault will push up um, and then command will hold where assault was then once guns push up command will push up uh, alongside guns behind assault all good Perfect. Right. all right just go ahead and form up behind the first sandbags now Assault left hand side sorty fuck off hang on quick they'll see you no fuck off dead eye on me i can't run as fast as they Green can block, walk fuck <laughs> Uh, guys, Swords in here will be playing uh, the role of the enemy. Uh, try not to kill him. Simply suppress the target area, that truck. Make it so he can't stick his head out and pop you in the fucking head. Uh, if you kill him, then you'll have the wrath of Swordsman against you. Uh, he will. If you don't put enough to sustain fire down, he will get shots off on you. If he's lucky enough to kill you, well, that's your own fucking fault. You outnumber him 10 to 1, so don't bitch. So I'm allowed to shoot you, but you're not allowed to shoot me. They're the rules, alright? I didn't hear that properly. <laughs> that hey, can I shoot him now? No, you jail either. Not in this case. Uh, Just pop smoke in front of him, guys. <laughs> How about Have accidental a, a grenade? Alright, Crunch, is your team ready? Yep. Our team is ready. Ready. Go. Sorry. Ready. Oh, sorry, I thought you might have been talking to them. I <laughs> what did we just fucking touch? Red. Fifty meters front. What? Underneath the truck. Attack front. Two fifty meters and underneath the truck. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's move. Let's move. All right, move it. Maybe medic might go first. Roger, coming! 
Well Happen, you just keep an eye out northwest. Man. I'm not sure if I got the one. Prepare for sniper. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Pro I keep. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. No, I can, you just keep looking at the truck. Yeah, I got southwest. Ish. Yeah. Keep that gun on the truck. What's that fucking tower? Alright, call and contact cleared. Form back at the start. Just wait till the salt get past us, boys. Roger that. That's fucking so terrible. Put it in your backpack. All in arm, did I? Really? Yeah, you got like four stanags? Alright, let's go. Wow. Should have like 15. Break contact. Fucking run back to the start right now. Contact's quit. Oh. Do it again. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Alright, you can tell me what fucked up in the first 10 seconds. Red, no red. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> no what? one called the target. There was no red, what? there was no contact call. There was very, oh, oh, very, oh, very oh, I did the red. Reaction to fire. Yeah, after I called it out. Yeah, but I wanted everyone else to do it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, nice save. So we're gonna do this again, just because it's fucking training I, and Salty wasn't meant to kill you and shit, I don't care. Do it exactly how it was, if it was AI, if it was a proper fucking mission. Um, if you were playing against OCV and you had something to prove. Exactly. Ooh, Mother of God! Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do so that again, make sure fire team leaders keep an eye on the other t fire team. As soon as they stop, you're telling you guys to pick up and fucking move, yelling it out. Fire team members, when your fire team leader says pick up and move or just move, fucking relay that shit so everyone in your team knows what's happening. A couple of times there, that single guy was left behind for like a split second or so. That split second can mean a big difference once we're actually playing. What's uh, a four letter word that's used as motivation in the army that Wolf's kids aren't allowed to hear? Fuck! Fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> Hands You're on the right bitches. path. Did you just run here? <laughs> Don't worry about, um, you know, being polite as well, guys. If you need someone to move, just get them to move one way or another. Exactly. We're all above 18. So, I don't think <laughs> Just. <laughs> just <laughs> this sure you should have guys... known this was fucking coming. I wasn't sure if the soccer could hear me or not. But We've all like been there. Times. Except yeah, me. Yeah, that, that's where it comes <laughs> down to. Like, not all of us can scream and shout into our mics and shit. That have we got anything up there? Our... Any problems? That's when it comes down to all your fire team members relaying Oh, you must be the medic, order. Thorny. Shut up! Ah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Medics. Only. That was, we, we fuck around. That was quicker yeah. than three Wolf, seconds. Yeah, it is looking like he's getting stuck. Wolf, do with him. Yeah. Uh, Contact right. Person everyone else. Team. Shoot person, distract everyone in team. <laughs> There's big con consequences if I shoot you, Thorny, over shooting him. I just thought it was Server kind of crashes, funny that no, no, no. shot him because he was distracting everyone and now it's distracted everyone trying to get him back <laughs> up, that's all. Epi. Alright, uh, so yeah, we'll do that again. Uh, this time when contact's called, oh. fucking relay that call. Uh, get rid going. Fire team <laughs> leaders. <laughs> Shut up. Fire team. Oh, he doesn't need to DDoS, he just needs to <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later you fucking No one heal him. He can stay there. Who was that? That was Ari. 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 Stabilizing. Sort of, you could deal with them. Yep. Oh, yes, I need some mags. Thanks for that. Alright, guys, listen up. Listen up. <laughs> Shadow. That's what I thought. Alright, listen up. We'll do it again. We'll call contact calls. We'll do it all through properly. Uh, fire team leaders, oh. make sure you're watching the other fire team. Getting you guys moving right on time. Um, yeah, sprinting too. None of this fucking. None of this shit. Yeah, Get sprint. up, run, and sprint between them. If you need to reload, you should have just the right uh, rate of fire, so you only need to reload once you're stepping off. Don't burst out a whole mag in the whole first two seconds of it. Um, only reload while in the move. Machine gunners, 249 gunners, you have fucking a 200 round belt. You shouldn't go through more than 50 rounds in this course. Uh, Mark 48, you have got a 100 round belt. Again, shouldn't go through more than half of that in this. Slow your rate of fire, use a big lot of you against one guy behind a truck. Um, so yeah, you should be only doing like three round bursts every four seconds. That they'll last you fucking ages. Uh, so yes, fire team leaders, make sure be aware of the other fire team. Move when you need to. Fire team members, 
listen to your leaders when they give an order relay that order so everyone in your team knows what the fuck's going on and you don't leave any guys behind right if you leave a guy behind they get shot all of a sudden the entire assault's gonna fucked because at the end we've got to come back get a guy up and move on it's just more delaying shit it means our games last overly long with missions that should take 10 minutes that end up taking us an hour all right so we need to cut down that sort of shit keep an eye out for your mates out there all right we good is everyone up i am Death Ari. 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 Oh, Ari. Yeah, Ari. yeah, leave Ari now. <laughs> was it Ari? I'm guessing it's Ari because he's dead, but. No, I think it was there. Uh... Alright, uh, Crunch, <laughs> get your, get your right. session online, mate. Where did I go be? Go on, go on. Guns, left, assault, right. Whoa. Go left this time, boys. To the left, to the left. Echo behind yeah. assault. Oh, hey, Hank, you guys are on the right this time. Hang. God, Hank. Hang, you're on the yeah, right. Yeah. I'll take care of this. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Hey, Let's go. The See you, Shadow. Bro. Uh, one, yeah, two, that. three, four. Gun's good. Never leave a man behind. I saw that. I think he's South African or something. Brew. Just mount on the wall. Contact. Contact front, 50 meters. Contact. Access, 100 meters. Same. Contact front, 100 meters, strike in the open. Contact front, 100 meters, go, go, go. Yeah. Moving. Moving. Take out, go, 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 go. Moving. Go. Gunman. Sorry, fucking go. Did we do good, boss? Did okay. Yay! It's the best you're gonna get, motherfucker. <laughs> did you have to reload, Gunner? Maybe I did. I did because I repacked my mags before we started. Oh, I wanna hide behind this barrier. Alright guys, uh, that went well. Pretty much, the more you do it, the more refined it becomes, the more natural it becomes. Um, so yeah, we'll move on from that. Just. If you have a section lead, a fire team lead during a game. Gunner, dead eye up front. Keep your attention here. Whenever you do this sort of shit yeah, in the game, make sure you actually use these skills that we're teaching you during these training sessions, otherwise it's all kind of for fucking nothing. Uh, I don't want just like one or two. Sorry. I don't just want like one or two <laughs> section leaders. Alt tab. Shit. Shut up! <laughs> I don't just want one or two section leaders to use this stuff. I want it to become oh. the norm within CTV. I want no matter what section leader or fire team leader we have during the game, he will know this stuff and he will use it when appropriate. Um, so yeah, well, let's try to make better use of that. It does work when in game. It most definitely does, and uh, it looks fucking awesome. It sounds cool as well. Uh, all right, can I get a line just over here in front of the vehicles? I love this part. This has to be tight line. We've been done it before. Kind of like, <laughs> go here, like <laughs> and then about two minutes to execute. What was that? They wanted a <laughs> line, but that takes ten minutes to prepare yeah, and two minutes to execute. And we don't have any of the protractors. We have to do the <laughs> OHS beforehand. <laughs> yeah, for the OHS report. Um, Alright, guys, pretty much. Uh, 
I think it was either Harris or Hangfire, I can't remember, who was harping on about doing you, <laughs> yeah, doing a uh, pretty much uh, enemy That's vehicle a nice way of identification. It, yeah, that was one of them. What um, happens who's running back to base? Shut the fuck up! What? They're not your concern! I'll go deal with them now. Thank you. They're not your concern right now, I'm your fucking, fucking concern. I Listen just... up. No! You had your chance to be on training core. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Burn. So pretty much this. Guys, focus. Pretty much this is just an enemy vehicle identification. Uh, a bunch of us are kind of sick of people calling out a BMP when it turns out to be a fucking BRDM or a U UAZ. Big fucking difference, and one strikes fear into our hearts, the other one's just a target opportunity. <laughs> um, Please do this. The RDM's still quite nasty. Oh yeah, it, it's nothing to be taken lightly, but I'd much rather take that than a BMP. But yeah, no question about it. Anyway, we'll start down this end. First down there you got the T-34, a T-34-85 to be specific. Fucking World War II era Soviet piece of junk by today's standards, but if you've even got light AT, you still don't really want to come up, up against it. Uh, it has a 100mm cannon. Uh, if it fires HE, it will wipe out a section quite fucking easily. However, it's very poor um, fire control systems, so it inaccurate as fuck when firing on the move. It also has a coax 7.62 machine gun. Uh, it turret rotates quite slowly, but it is quite a small target uh, when moving, so hitting it with a unguided missile it can be quite difficult when it extends out 300 meters or so. Sorty. <sighs> Anyway, moving on from the, so yeah, that's a moderate threat. Um, pretty much see it, just kill it with fire. Uh, next to that is the T-55, probably one of the more common tanks we ever come. If we ever do come across a tank, it usually is a 55. Uh, Russian design as well. Uh, main characteristic of it against like the T-72 is it's got a much higher turret and higher body overall. Very round turret. Uh, if I recall, it's got a 125 cannon or something like that, or maybe smaller. Yeah, yep. 100 or 125 depends on the model, but that yeah, one. Yeah, it's a 55 day. That one. Yeah, 100. Yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It, it's gonna fuck you up either way. Uh, since we don't roll with armor much, I'm not gonna talk about how they handle like against our tanks or any shit like that. That thing can be saved for an armored course. I'm just talking about us as infantry. Uh, it doesn't have a top-mounted uh, anti-air machine gun, uh, like the 72 does there, so it's of slightly limited threat uh, to oh. infantry. It has a 762 machine gun, coax. Uh, it's quite fast when it does get moving, um, but any rear or side shot, it can be taken out in one shot from an AT-4, uh, usually two shots with an M72, unless you're lucky to get the turret. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you come across one of them, call it to your CO fucking immediately so you can organize a uh, it to be destroyed. So yeah, we got a uh, T-34, T-55, and then the T-72. Now there's a fuck ton, fuck ton of different uh, versions of T-72. That's the T-72M, which is the export oh. variant. Uh, so it's slightly less armor, the fire control systems, that sort of shit. But honestly, in our missions, it's probably the most advanced tank you'll come up, uh, up against. Unless the game master wants to be a complete cunt to put a T90 in there, you won't see much worse than that. Mm. Uh, it has a 12.7 millimeter, uh, 50 caliber machine gun on top, essentially. Originally, they had a counter uh, helicopters and shit like that, but it makes mince meat of infantry sections if you get caught in the open with it. Uh, it has a 125 millimeter uh, rifled cannon. Uh, it can also fire ATGMs out of the uh, main oh. cannon, which is a cunt if you're in a fucking vehicle, because it will not miss with it. Uh, it's very fast off-road, it has decent frontal armor. <laughs> fucking sorry. There's no IEDs, you're fine. There's no one. <laughs> <laughs> um, side armor, look, uh, 84, if you're lucky, might penetrate, it might kill the crew, but it probably won't disable it. Rear shot, probably will, and also top shot on the uh, turret will probably take it out. Uh, your best bet would be uh, probably aiming hide. if you hey hide. Yeah, hide hide and call in a helicopter or something else bigger to take care of it. But if you've got no choice, wait for the fucker to get close. If it doesn't get close, just try to outmaneuver it, run away, get in a position where it has to come get you. And so if it gets close, it's quite easily taken care of if you have the right AT and you don't fuck up and miss. 
Um, <laughs> to the right of that again, we have the BMP2. Now this thing, I fear like nothing else. Uh, yeah. It has a 25 mil, uh, no correction, 30 millimeter cannon. Uh, auto, ca auto cannon fires HE and uh, AP. It has a 7.62 uh, coax machine gun along with a ATGM launcher on the rooftop there, uh, which is fired by the main gunner as well on this. Pretty much that auto cannon can fire, I think it's like 300 rounds a minute. Um, yeah. 600. 300 and I 600. Think it's super both. Two. Yeah, it's got two red fires, I know that. So it can essentially kill an entire infantry platoon in under 30 seconds if it really wanted to. Um, the thing is very fast off-road, it's got a very small profile, at a distance it can be quite hard to identify if it's low night or just poor conditions. And that auto cannon, the HE, is essentially equivalent of a uh, hand grenade going off right next to you. Uh, so you can imagine, you know, 300 of them going off around you in a minute, that's a lot of firepower. Uh, the ATGM also makes it a high threat to tanks and other armoured vehicles. Uh, and also it's AP rounds, you know, that's a lot of lead flying at you if you're in a fucking APC of some sort. Uh, but again, AT4 to the side, back, will take it out one shot. Front, if you're very, very lucky, it might take it out, usually it won't. Uh, keep in mind though, with all these, especially with Ace, with all the armoured vehicles, you can kill the crew, but the vehicle will be perfectly intact. Like, as the vehicle will just come rolling through the stop, and you'll sit there for the next 20 minutes wondering or not whether it's alive. Uh, it can make for some tense moments. But yes, BMP-2, very high threat to infantry. Unlike the tanks, which only has the coax and the main gun, the tanks will very rarely use the main gun against infantry, so you really don't have to worry about the coax and the heavy armour. With the BMT, BMP-2, you mainly have to worry about that fucking 30mm uh, cannon that will ruin your day. Uh, to the right of that, uh, which we see less, but I'd like to see more of in missions, to be honest. It's the, uh, technically it's a BVP, but it's just, we'll just call it BMP-1. It's a earlier uh, version of the BMP-2, uh, of course by its name. It has, I believe, an 85mm cannon, uh, fires HE. Whoa, uh, did we miss the M113? Sorry, you, you've gone over yeah. the 113, and not, where's No, this? I haven't. Wait. No, I went to yeah, the yeah, over there. What yeah, are you one. talking about? There's yeah, no BMP1, so there's a BMP2 and, the and then there's the okay, 113. Okay. You can't see the vehicle I'm standing in front of? No, no that is not. Right. I see it. I can. Okay, I can. You failed. Oh, you're back in fucking line. <laughs> nah, Rosie. <laughs> is it a part of Ace Russia or something? No, it's. I'll explain. It's a part of the um, Chech DLC. That's something uh, you might not be running the patch ooh. for. Oh. <sighs> yeah, my Mr. Chech DLC has never oh. worked properly. Yeah, okay, neither. yeah. That's what I wasn't too sure on. Uh, I think that's there's part of the haven't bought it too, mate. So that's yeah. Oh, I there, there is it a part of AC light? Free patch for it. I see a light. No, I got the light a, version. Yeah, there's, there's a, a light patch oh. for it. Yeah. I think it's uh, six. If you haven't got that, anyway, it's just uh, essentially a BMP2, but instead of the auto cannon, it has an 85mm uh, HE cannon on it. Um, quite nasty if it manages to get a shot off, but it has a slow rate of fire, poor accuracy, and is overall less of a threat than the BMP2. But since most people here don't have it, we'll move on. Uh, then you've got the uh, um, M113, pretty much most of you guys will know this as it's generally a NATO vehicle, but for whatever reason they have it here as a ah. enemy, and we can see it against with the enemy every now and then. <laughs> uh, it's armed with a Browning M2 50 caliber machine gun, uh, things quite nasty, it can punch it through walls pretty easily, it'll go through soft skin vehicles very fucking easily, and it'll go through you even easier. Uh, it has a significant rate of fire, uh, however, it is very, very lightly armed, uh, lightly armoured, sorry. Uh, M72, AT4, pretty much any AT will slice through that thing very fucking easily. But they are very, very fucking quick and nimble when on the ground, so they can be a bit of a bitch to get a decent hit on. Uh, they also carry, I believe it's six to eight men in the back, so they will usually come with dismounts. In which case, if you blow it up and you don't actually, if you only manage to disable it, you can be sure there will be infantry piling at the back. So you've got to keep that in mind when you're taking care of them. Uh, moving on to the right of that, you have a BTR-60. Now, with the A6RU, there's also the BTR-70, but they are almost identical, except slightly different armor models and shit like that, but we'll keep it just to the BTR. So all vehicles of this sort, we'll just call BTR from now on, unless ah. it's BTR-90, but again, we don't go up against them very often. Are they in? Sorry? Are they in the game? Yeah, they're, they're in uh, default armor 2, on the Russian side. 
Cool. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass because they've got a 40mm grenade launcher. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much we'll just run over this. First BTR 60 and 70. Uh, general APC, Russian APC, carries, I believe, again, 6 to 8 infantry in the back. Uh, gunner, commander, and crew, uh, driver's seat. It fires, I think, at 20... 12.7. 12.7. It no, it has a 12.7, also has a higher caliber on it. Thought it had the 14.7. Yeah, that's 14 point five mil. There you go. You got yeah. a fourteen point five mil, which is just a bigger thing. It doesn't fire HE though. It's just a solid core shot. It's um, basically a fifty cal. Yeah, it's a bigger fifty cal. Um, it's uh, if you're just infantry and you're stuck with that AT, think would be a right prick. Um, huh? What? No, nothing. It, if you're stuck with that AT, you think it'd be a right prick. However, keep in mind, if you have a 7.62 machine gun, uh, a decent long burst can indeed take out its tires. Uh, while I believe they've actually fixed the bug, where if you disable a vehicle, the AI will immediately bail out of everything and abandon the vehicle. I believe that's no longer the case, but you can at least fix it in location so you can outmaneuver it or at least run away safely. Uh, so keep that in mind, team leaders and section leaders. Um, so yeah, it's again lightly armoured. A uh, 50 caliber machine gun will tear through its sides quite easily and can kill the crew that way. Um, other than that, a any AT again will slice right through it. So that's the BTR. Uh, I'll quickly touch on the BTR-90. BTR-90 is uh, one of the latest versions of the BTR. It's, uh, it comes with a Russian on the armor 2 side. Um, it has a 30 millimeter auto cannon similar to the B, uh, BMP-2. However, it also has a 40 millimeter AGS automatic grenade uh, grenade launcher, along with a ATGM and a 7.62 coax. So the thing has a lot of fucking weaponry. It's very fast, very potent, but again, we rarely come up against it. Um, Alright, moving on to next to the BTR, we have the BRDM. Now, a lot of people seem to call that a BTR. It's not. It's a BRDM. With the Russians, it's usually used as a scout vehicle. Very small profile, very quick off-road and on-road. It carries the same armament as the B uh, BMPs, uh, so correction, BTRs. It has the 14.5mm uh, cannon or machine gun on top, along with a 7.62 machine gun. Uh, again, with these things, 7.62 can puncture wheels very easily. 50 cal will go through it. Uh, if you're lucky, 7.62 might pierce the sides. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, anyway, yeah, if that comes up, it's usually quite easily be taken care of, taken care of and uh, dispatched. <laughs> However, if you're caught unaware, the thing can take down a lot of men before you're able to take care of it, so keep an eye on it. Um, yeah, and also because of its small size and speed, it can make it a bit of a pain to uh, take out at distance with uh, unguided AT. And then last but not least, we have soft skin vehicles. Here I have the example of a UAZ. Uh, this UAZ has a 12.7mm cannon. Uh, so a machine gun on top, or a 50 caliber machine gun on top, called a Dishka. Uh, these things, as you can see, it's a fucking jeep with a mounted gun on it. They're fast off-road, very lightly armed, they're not armoured, essentially. Any machine gun, any rifle will kill the crew and occupants inside it. Very easy to take care of, but again, if you call it unaware, the machine gun can make your day bad. Alright, uh, questions? What is it all costing a war game? Too much. Questions? Like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> again, you shoot me again. Maybe, um, have a look on the side, guys, so you can actually see what the difference is between the vehicles. Yep, uh, I'll give you guys a second. Just go around, walk around the vehicles, get an idea of the profile, so if you see them, you know what the fuck they are in-game. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. But, um, pretty much the big things are BRDMs, not a BTR, T72, not a T55. Good job, Rosie. Yeah, if cool. you want, try and grab a buddy and put each other on it. I'm just fine with T55. Oh, I'll switch. There will be a quiz. There will be a new map. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, Rosie, that 7.62 should finish that size of the 112. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how it's modeled on the armor though. We have done a BTR too. before, but in 1.13 we haven't, I don't, I don't know if we've tested that. I know everything on the right of it, we've, it goes through, but... Yeah. I'm not sure about the M1.13 game. It's a fucking game. soft skin pizza shit. Except for yeah. on the left hand side, which is where the engine is. <laughs> Top take!
You don't have to turn out a red light. Right. That's Jim Beam for you. <laughs> Singing live tonight. I got back from one. <laughs> Enough familiarization. Seriously, yep, man. What the fuck? Okay. Worst. Gunner Quit bleeding gun. Ever. <laughs> Worst gunner ever. <laughs> uh, it's funny because he's named Gunner. Um. Shut up, Wes. There can only be one. Alright, so they give me the uh, defining features of a BMP2. BMP2 has a auto cannon, has a ATGM rocket, only one of them. Uh, it is low profile, extremely quick, agile, extremely dangerous. Machine gun. Uh, Run, scream, hide. Call for Also, something, <laughs> something I've got to mention about the BMP2 and BMP1, they can carry nice six tracks. infantry in the back. Uh, so again, if you kill one but don't blow it up, there is a chance infantry will dismount and they'll be very angry you just shot their ride. And they're amphibious. So Who knows the difference between a tracked and wheeled car, what its properties are? Yeah, I yeah, do. Good point. Can't shoot the tracks out. Of wheeled track and wheeled, wheeled car. car. Well, you can't shoot tracks out and tracks tend to disperse weight better than well, wheels. You can shoot tracks out. You can de-track a vehicle. Yeah, you just need a big gun to track Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, I know. Alright, basically, the answer is when you contact a convoy, if it's got tracks, it'll chase you down off road. If it's got wheels, it's not going to be as quick. Yeah. yeah. They also have very div um, oh, distinctive sounds. You'll recognize the sound of a tracked vehicle a mile away, whereas all road vehicles, kind of like uh, wheeled vehicles, <laughs> sound the same. They're not stealth, but you'll still hear it. But <laughs> a tracked vehicle, you'll hear and you'll pick your pants. <laughs> Thanks for that demonstration. <laughs> Sounds. It, it's so you just get in the beam uh, 113 yeah. and then drive so we can hear the uh, actual tracks moving. Yep. I was gonna run you over then, but yeah. <laughs> you will note that the thinking of the tracks worried. hitting against each other and the grinding <laughs> and metal noises. This really with a soft my aroma gears. of tank. All right, I'll quickly just get a. Uh, Quick example of some helicopters. Ah, yeah. oh, sorty fired it again. Alright, you can. Where are we? Get ready to disperse. <laughs> and we're going to smoke like what I was about to show. <laughs> He did that pretty well, Ooh, actually. Yeah. He braked and just Time. launched him. <laughs> Shut up. It's a plane! MI-24. Yeah. MI-24 P variant. Uh, don't, don't, don't call it an MI, because there's also the MI-8. Which is which, not this. Which, which <laughs> is the plane. Yeah. 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 The pretty wreckage much. behind it is the thing that you don't have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pretty much, guys. <laughs> MI-24 <laughs> has a shit ton of fucking uh, FFAR rockets. Uh, very scary if you actually come up against it. It has. Yeah. It has two scary eyes. Can you jump the gun up position for me? Okay. Uh, guys, yep, it has a lot of uh, unguided rockets, which will make your day hell. It also, ah. also has. Uh, I wouldn't stand in front of it, guys, right now. It's a 23 mil? <laughs> hey? 23 mil cannon? Uh, negative. Uh, not in this version. Uh, I think the. The model B, has it? the 23 uh, mil. Uh, this is what uh, this has model. a 12.7 millimeter Gatling gun. Mm. So a 50 cal Gatling gun. I'll uh, demonstrate it. Sorry, can you let off a burst of the uh, cannon? Yes, I can. <laughs> Watch the rate of fire. Fuck. Can you shoot it in front of you on the ground so we can see the splash? Right on the if you can see the hill above the base, you can see this splash up there because it's destroying yeah, that hillside. Alright, everyone will get uh, northeast. Uh, now remember, for every tracer, there's another four rounds that are not tracers. This thing has an insane rate of fire. It can saturate a large area of land with uh, 50 cal rounds very fucking quickly. For example, with the space we're standing in now, a single, like, three second burst will wipe us out. The thing is very scary. Your platoon not, is dead! Not HE rounds, uh. Sustained no, fire! No, no, I'll clear that up, they're not HE, they're just a 50 caliber round. But again, that alone will go straight through, you'll kill you in pretty much one hit. 
Yeah. Uh, as good. you can see there, it has internal bays there for a squad of up to six or eight. Uh, generally, eight. if you shoot one of them, eight, there we go. Generally, if you shoot one of them down, they're not going to live that. But they can power drop troops and shit like that. Um, Q, and then we'll move on to the MI8. I like to refer to it as no, the close, Apache bus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> cow. <laughs> no, the cow is the MI8. The Russian school bus. No. Oh, it's favorite thing like, in the whole game. Alright, guys, now I wouldn't walk that way. <gasps> Whoa! Alright, as we have here, guys, we have an MI 17. MI 17 is the export variant of the MI 8 Russian hip. Uh, these things, they generally have two P PKM machine guns, 762 machine guns, one in the front door there, one in the rear. Uh, they carry uh, 12, 14, 14, 16 infantry. Uh, generally for troop transport, however, some variants do have up to 128 unguided HE rockets on them. So, although they are generally transport helicopters, they do have a two 7.62 machine guns, which can hurt you, and also a lot of fucking rockets, which, if they turn aggressive, will, uh, can fuck you up. Uh, they're a big fucking target, they're very identifiable with, uh, press their blunt nose, uh, stub tail and stuff. Yes? Yep, you gonna put the KAs in as well? <laughs> KAs, uh, KA 5052. We don't have We don't have an MI 28. Exactly. This isn't war games. What did I pay for this? There's no KA 50 in this one, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Only 52. 50 was from Armor um, 1. I mean, 50 is the one seater version, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we got a two seater. Yeah, yeah, it should be 52. 52. It's a yeah, it's doing a that now. Relax. Come on, where is it? Come on. It's right there. It's an M113. What the hell? Actually, where are you putting in production? The 52s. Ooh, it's poly. It's sexy. He gets yeah, in and shoot him. I want a DCS 52. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, we have the KA 52, uh, Russian helicopter. You'll notice there's a distinct <laughs> twin rotor design, it has no tail rotor. In this is very maneuverable. Um, you can pretty much spin on a dime. You can't shoot out its tail rotor because, well, it doesn't fucking have one. It carries a heavy payload, a lot of uh, unguided rockets as well as ATGM style rockets. Uh, I believe it has a 23 millimeter cannon built into the side, uh, which is more or less fixed. There's little movement, so if this thing is looking at you, you're dead. But if it's just flying around, then you generally don't have to be worried until it starts looking at you. Questions? The, um, the right hand gun actually moves um, about 60 degrees to the right of the Yeah, but in the AI though, they, they can't use that well. They'll fly straight at you. It's very maneuverable, yeah. And very accurate. Alright, Crunch, give me the defining features of a T-55. T-55. Old school. Without looking at it. <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, T-55. <laughs> Don't ask me to say which one. <laughs> oh no, T-54 is old school. Think of the year it came out. Low profile. Um, it's got the two not barrels quite as scary end. as a T-72. <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> does have a Finding coaxial. Finding features. Coaxial machine gun. Um, Hint, the uh, turret. Yeah. The big metal oh, turret. Big metal freaking thing. Yeah, yeah. is that T-55? Yeah. The second last one is T-55. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. yeah. That's alright. Has no top mounted machine guns, it has all the less of a threat to fuel infantry. tanks on the arse. Yep. Around fuel tanks. Alright, any other questions about this sort of shit, guys? Nah. Nah. Cool. Fuck that shit off then. Oh, bye! Uh, Alright, I'm gonna TPS back to uh, base, we're gonna rearm, and then we're gonna step off on a mission. Cool! Huzzah! Because uh, I'm nearly out of ammo. Wow. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I'll say again, worst gunner ever. 